Okay, I'm using this for documentation purposes. I'm not saying one is better than the other, or vice versa, or the cheaper copy is better. Uh, it's just purely documentation. Uh, and I'll kind of explain the backstory regarding why I went this route. Also, if you hear weird noises in the background, uh, I'm watching my little guy and he's watching backyard again, so be, uh, be aware of that. So the reason why I bought a cheap knockoff, which is gonna be the actual black one, um, and the silver one being the, the legit one, uh, is because I got the silver one um, from a friend uh, that uh, dragged this across the floor, what is uh, S13. Um, it came off the pipe. Um, I'm assuming that the blow off coupler came off and yeah, it mounted lower. Um, and it scraped it up pretty bad. Uh, it actually uh, removed the nipple on the back and a couple other things and it was kind of chewed up a little bit. So what my what I was going to do, since uh, some of these uh, components are kind of chewed up, was I was actually going to just buy a body uh, for cheap and just swap everything over. Uh, but when I started um, doing measurements, I started noticing some kind of interesting things. So first I wanted to start off with uh, this particular attachment here. Um, and if you're not familiar with the HKS blow valves, uh, that's how they actually mount with a C-clip. And with these C-clips themselves, they are both made of steel. Um, this is going to be the OAM one. And like I said, you can't really tell. It's also used, so that's why it's dirty. It doesn't mean it's worse. It just, it's been through some rough stuff. This is the new one. Just because they're more shiny doesn't mean they're better. Uh, this is just new. So when I'm comparing these both, uh, I was looking uh, for physical weight. Uh, they weigh about the same. I don't really have a scale, unfortunately. And I was also looking for dimension wise, what's gonna be the difference dimensional. So dimensionally, and like I said, this one did get drugged across the floor. Uh, from what I can grab from the actual shaft portion, uh, they are going to be the, uh, the same. Okay, the 34 millimeter. Uh, dimensionally, um, they really have some slight dimensional differences when it comes to height, uh, but nothing that is going to be uh, detrimental to actually installing this on a car. Now, in order to actually break down the blow valve, uh, one of the first things you actually have to do is remove the screws uh, from the face of the blow valve. And so this is gonna be one of the first things that I noticed the differences. Now, physically speaking, um, and this is not going to be a direct comparison, um, yes, they look different, but because this Chinese one is trying to mimic the super sequential version 4, and I believe, I could be mistaken, this is the version uh, 3, so it doesn't have these slots. And dimensionally, they're a very tad difference, but the exit is still the same size. Now, when it comes to casting, uh, they look like they're casted very similarly. Uh, they say they have the same size holes. Um, I can't really say that one casting is worse than the other, per se. I'm also not a professional when it comes to that. Um, but what I will say is that this one weighs uh, substantially more than this one. Uh, you can say that because the metals that they use to cast these are cheaper, maybe they weigh more, or you can say the same thing about this. I, I guess I'm not, I'm not into that platform, so I don't know if the casting material is different. I also don't know if maybe the casting on the V4s are just as heavy. Uh, that shouldn't affect performance because like I said, all this does is house um, the components uh, that I'll be moving on to next. Now, when you remove that face, uh, it's going to remove a gasket seal with a couple of screws, and I, I actually lost one of them, so that's perfectly fine. Um, and it is also going to have, uh, on the ripoff, uh, the same sized screws. Okay, so this is where I can tell the difference so far. Same size screws on the ripoff. On the, the uh, other one, uh, the screws are actually going to be thicker in some of them and thinner in the other ones depending on uh, which of the holes they go in. So that would probably be a giveaway in, in what we're working with here. The seal that seals these components are dimensionally identical. Um, and as far as the feeling, they feel very similar. You know, I, I don't have the, the uh, accessibility to, to break down the, the type of rubber this is, but from the physical touch, it does feel the same. And in front of the seal is going to be the famous uh, HKS fins. Um, these are interchangeable. Um, obviously, they have different types, but these are this is what the standard fin is going to be like. I think this is like a high pitch fin. Uh, dimensionally, they are going to be the same. And I think for dimensional fin, I put uh, they are 37 millimeters. 
identical uh, in the way they look. Um, I mean, I really cannot tell the difference. Like if you, like right now I just mix these up and I would not be able to tell the difference between which one was the original one and which one was the cheap knockoff. Now, this one uh, is pretty interesting. Um, the shaft that actually travels through the blow-off valve to the diaphragm. Um, the brighter one is gonna be the newer one. The lighter one is gonna be the one that's been used. I don't know what the original color is. I mean, this could be the original color or that could be just because of the elements or the heat that was ran through them, I don't know. Um, but uh, dimensionally from the width of the actual shaft, um, I have written here that it is going to be, oh, what did I put it here? Uh, seven, millimeter, uh, seven millimeters wide. So they are identical. Uh, these components actually uh, can be interchangeable. And I've actually just put them in the blow valve and they are indeed uh, interchangeable. Um, the way they, uh, they move up and down is gonna be the same. The way they rotate is the same. The only difference that I did see was on the HKS one, uh, the hole is that there's a chamfer there. Um, I used that hole to actually remove the lock nut from there. And there is no chamfer um, on the the knockoff. Now, on the actual valve themselves, um, the metals feel the same. Uh, they're some type of aluminum. Uh, they're not magnetic. Uh, they look the same visually. There could be some visual differences other than the shininess. Um, and they weigh about the same along with the actual plastic material that's on top. Now, this is definitely um, a main difference for weight and for visual appearance. Um, these lock nuts in the back, and I don't know what the exact term for them. Um, they're both made of aluminum. Um, they're not, um, sorry, this is just spinning. They're not magnetic, uh, but as you can see, um, this is the OE one, the HKS one, and this is the cheap knockoff. Um, side by side profile, uh, this plastic portion with the nipple on it protrudes more than this one. I don't think that would really do a, make a difference, uh, but that is a difference that I see here. And also the casting material um, looks cheaper on this one. It looks like it's just like a dirty aluminum that wasn't refined. Um, I just cast it. Um, and then on this one, it, it kind of looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a, a casted part that was we'll CNC'd afterward. Like it looks a lot cleaner and it definitely weighs a lot less. Now it's not a huge difference, but it's enough to tell the difference between both. Uh, being that this is on the shaft, I don't know if it slows performance down as far as the act actuating of the blow off valve. So what I'll probably do is use utilize this on the, um, when I rebuild them with the new parts and the old parts. Now another difference on the actual shaft uh, also is that the HKS shaft is a little longer than the actual knockoff one both of these nuts go on there either way and they do bottom out um where they um uh where it's longer it doesn't really seem to matter because they're going to be the same height um so it doesn't change where the diaphragm should sit moving along to the actual spring uh the return spring um i'm assuming there's a certain weight to the spring uh, in which the blow valve will actuate um this is not a scientific test, but I can say that physically they feel about the same. Um, if I were to assemble this, I would probably reuse the factory one because I know that this would work correctly. Not saying that this wouldn't, this one wouldn't work correctly, um, but I already have the one that I know works and I wouldn't want to take the chance anyways. Now for the bodies of the blow valves, um, they have differences, but like I said, I don't know if it's because this is portraying the V4 and this is the older model. Uh, one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that the flanges are going to be thinner um, on the the newer one. Um, I know the video makes it look like it's not flat. It is it is flat. Um, this is a pretty straight edge on this, but they're making contact with the the bevel, uh, which is making them separate. Um, they're pretty much the same. I can see some casting imperfections on this one that they went ahead and just shot over. Like I'd say probably like right there. And this is where I know HKS quality is much better than this. So this is definitely a dead giveaway. And maybe some casting lines that maybe the other one doesn't have. Surprisingly, um, it does have like very similar casting numbers. 
um, which is kind of funny. I mean, this is definitely a, uh, a rip. Um, and then I also noticed there's some casting. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera. Some casting lines down there um, in which there's none in the OEM one. I don't think that's gonna cause any performance differences, but that's something that you wanna be aware of. Also, the paint that they use on these, it's really cheap, as you can see, like, it's got nicks and stuff like that. I might I might just powder coat this uh, wrinkled black or something um, so that I won't have to have all these, uh, these nicks on here and stuff like that. As far as the HKS uh, logos look on the actual body, um, I know this one's a little bit older, and so this one looks better because it's just shiny, um, but I really can't see a huge difference I mean, maybe this one will tarnish better uh, more when I use it. I can't tell, uh, but they look pretty good uh, on the, the replica. Uh, what I did notice on here is that the um, beveled edge uh, that holds the actual diaphragm uh, seems to be a little bit more shallow on this one than on the um, OEM one or the HKS one, but I don't think that's going to be an issue when you, when you put them together. Uh, the glue and everything looks the same on both of these. Um, I don't know what type of insert they use. They could be similar. And, but as you can see, some of the casting is a little bit different. Um, like I said, it's on the inside, so I don't think it really matters. Now, here is the fins that go on top of the blow valve. This one has one, two, three, four fins. This one has three fins. Like I said, it could be the difference between this version three and version four, which I'm pretty sure that makes sense now with four and three. Um, and the logos look pretty good on the replica. Um, I mean, they look good on the original one too, but it's just a little bit dirtier. Now, one thing on the camera that I did notice as I'm looking at this is that there's a kind of like a holographic look to this HKS logo, uh, which is the original one. And obviously on this one, there's just the shininess. So that can, Probably be one telltale sign that the black one is a replica um, and this one is not. And last but not least is the diaphragm. Um, I have I have the other plate somewhere for the OEM one, uh, but I can't find it. It's somewhere in my garage. Uh, but these plates are pretty much the same. The magnetic, uh, they are steel. Holes are the same diameter. Uh, the gasket feels a little firmer on the new one, but it could just be because this one just ran through a couple of heat cycles. Uh, but physically, they look pretty much the same. And that pretty much concludes the video. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this um, with the better parts into the older body. Um, I'll probably put a video later of how they perform, but I don't see how it would perform any different than the actual legit one once it's all assembled correctly. Uh, just because this blow valve is very simple. So if you have any questions, let me let me know in the comment section below. Uh, you can always reach out to me on MB World or on Tune Mercedes Facebook page, so on and so forth. Thank you.